So in glibc, you may see things like this. We have a character pointer s, which points to eight characters, eight w's, and uh, we dereference it. But before that, we cast it to a, a pointer of a different type. In this case, word, which is a type def for unsigned long int. And in this case, we are trying to assign uh, s to d. And if we try to print d, which uh, d is just a buffer here, uh, we'll have eight w's. So why eight w's? Well, you know, if we add more characters, it'll still be eight. And the reason is we are using word, or we're using unsigned long int, which in this system, well, I guess we can print it, right? Print f size of size of word. So size of unsigned long int is eight bytes. So it's treating both D and S as though they are uh, unsigned long ints. And so when we dereference S, we get eight bytes instead of one. But before you do this, you should know that you're not really supposed to do this. So on uh, higher optimization levels, like O2, well, you should read the documentation, but usually uh, GCC or Clang uh, enables abstract aliasing, which asserts that you are not accessing a pointer with another pointer of a different type. So if you want to do this, you can only do it with char or unsigned char. I don't really know why, so I guess you should comment down below if you know the reason. But uh, yeah, you can't do that. And so if you want to do this, uh, you should use may alias or, you know, with the underscores. I don't know what's the difference, but this tells the compiler that word may be used to access a pointer of a different type or you can compile your program with f no strict aliasing which just disables f strict aliasing uh, so yeah 